escape from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon. I had a few days off of work, so I decided to pack up and hit some tailwater fisheries in the mid Atlantic region. Tailwaters can be extremely difficult. Bites have been few and far between, especially because of the fast, challenging water but also because of their popularity. These fish aren't dumb. But while they are difficult, they can certainly be rewarding. And it was just nice to get away from home for a bit. I really hope you guys enjoyed this three-part adventure. All right, we are here at our next river. Water temp this morning was 58 on the gauge. Um, based off the history of the gauge, it probably won't get above 62, which is awesome. Love tailwaters that way. Um, tough river to fish from what I read, but I have fished it once and did okay. Um, wild rainbows, stocked rainbows, wild brown trout. I think there are stocked brown trout, and I think there are wild brook trout all in this river. So, really looking forward to it. Let's see if we can nymph up some, uh, some fish. All right, so, continue to get skunked. My tailwater tour is not going so well. Got rained out day one, day two. You're just watching me get skunked. I'm trying to put this thing together. I uh, thought it was a pretty good idea. Especially, this was my, this was the river I was looking forward to the most, uh, based off how I did last time I was out. But, I got my bike. I am going to try to ride down this trail. I don't know how bikeable it is, but I'm gonna try to get away a little bit see if I can maybe find some less pressured fish if that's the issue the issue might just be I suck too so who knows hopefully you guys see a fish by the end of this day please give me a fish Oh guys, at this point, 
I'm sick of just getting skunked in this beautiful river. I mean, awesome water. I don't know how I'm not catching fish, but it must be something I'm not using or not doing. But if anybody knows this river, let me know what works. Um, I tried anything from a caddis nymph to a rainbow warrior print or a pheasant, no, prince nymph. I used, I didn't use any pheasant tails. Um, use a streamer. I'm not sure what to do, but at the risk of being skunked the entire day, I think I'm going to go to a small brookie stream to end the day, close to where I'm camping. Just try to salvage it. Got a few hours left in the day. It's about 2.30 right now. Well guys, here lies my last hope at not getting stuck, or getting skunked, I should say. I'm probably gonna get stuck based off this stream. Um, it's skinny water. Um, it is 63 degrees, which is which is good. I tested a uh, smaller trib on the way over here, and it was 62. So this is probably about as cold as it's going to get for these free stoners. Um, but this is a a stock stream, but I don't think here. I think just downstream of me, um, and it is also a, a brookie stream. So who knows, man? Maybe I'll get a maybe I'll get a fish. There is a really nice hole down downstream here that I'm going to try first. But hopes aren't high looking at the uh, level of this, this creek. Next, uh, next clip you see may end up just being the first of, uh, of tomorrow. Yep, I was right. Next, next scene is the next day. It is day three. Um, I'm on the Savage River now. Um, spent a night last night solo camping, uh, which is always fun. It's always Really nice to wake up in the uh, in the woods, ready to go. Only five minutes from the spot, so um, this river is supposed to be even more difficult than the river I fished yesterday. So, you know, confidence shouldn't be very high for me, but it somehow is. Um, haven't had a day like yesterday in, in a long time, um, especially at a spot that I've done well and had such good water. But um, yeah, we're back at it. Sun's just coming up. It's supposed to be a really nice day. See if uh, see if we can catch a couple fish for this uh, for this tailwater series that I had a bright idea of making. There we go. Fish on. Brown. Oh, it's a rainbow. Okay. Well, we'll take it, man. That feels freaking good. All right, guys. Well, this was a long time coming. It's not the wild brown that I'm after or brook trout, but it is a freaking fish, guys. He's pretty, I wanted to show him to you. He's not being super cooperative. Doesn't like me much. All right, we'll give it one go. Right, there he is. Pretty bow, stocked bow. Man, is it a fish, guys. It is a freaking fish. Feels so good. Um, coincidentally, this is the spot where I caught my my brown, one of my browns last, last time I was on this river. But um, yeah, I know they, they don't stock this, but I had read that rainbow swim up from, uh, from the north branch of the Potomac into here. So, man. Hold a fish. Fish on. I didn't even realize he was there. I was bringing back around to uh, make my next cast. Nice, little brown. Man, I do not care 
how big. Fish is fish. Can you guys tell I'm happy to catch some fish? Feels really good. There we go. Nice fish. Decent brown. It's funny, almost fell over as he bit. It's crazy. Ah, don't get down there. Come back up this way. Get it. Yes, nice brown. All right, folks. Our first savage, a nice savage brown. Look at that, freaking butterball. Beautiful fish. Love it. See you, buddy. Oh, man. So my uh, practice today has been pretty much hit every single little run. There's so many of them. Um, I'm bound to luck into a couple fish. That was my, my fault yesterday, too, but didn't work so well. Today, not so bad. Well, guys, I forgot to hit record. I just got to a new spot and didn't turn the camera on. But we have another brown. There he is. So that's, that's a good sign um, for this new spot that we are at. Um, every fish has come on a hare's ear, by the way. Um, I have a sunken ant above it. I thought that would be a good idea, um, but it, it hasn't caught anything yet. So, but hey, something's working at least. Hey. Oh, awful hook set on it. Oh, that was a brown. Sorry, the sun's right in your face. Um, yeah, it threw on. I lost my last hair's ear um, and then moved to a different spot. Just getting into it here at this spot. Using this uh, caddis, caddis larva uh, size 14 from Lively Legs. And I believe he bit that. So that's a good sign. Okay. All right, guys, I'm wrapping it up here. This is the last run that I wanted to fish. Um, I found a way up over here, so I'm gonna take the road back. Fun couple days, even though it's been a struggle. Two of the harder streams that I've fished. Um, difficulty wading, difficulty getting fish to bite. Um, but they have a reputation for it. I'm happy with today. I'm, after yesterday, I was not expecting much, so to catch a few fish, certainly helps the morale but uh i hope you guys enjoyed this one this uh part two of the uh, tailwater fishing um, if you did definitely give me a like subscribe and i will catch you guys next time on sc outdoors